21 years ago, there was a great man of God, a prophet, by the name of our beloved and noble evangelist pastor, Will De Estrada Almeda. Our beloved and noble pastor, and be assisted by our beloved assistant pastor, Lina C. Almeda. A prayerful man and anointed preacher of righteousness was sent by God to the mountain of Talib of Holosunu to pray for the real of the 21 Sepadan hostages through the prayer and fasting. He went there with the 12 prayer warriors also to preach the gospel of salvation. And the mission was indeed the victorious one. For all the 21 Sepadan hostages were all released and the power of God was seen throughout the world the witness that our God is a God of peace a God of power a God of miracle and nothing is impossible with our God for His good and His mercy endures forever praise God the Holy Bible will tell us who is this God in Genesis, Jesus is the ram at Abraham's altar. In Exodus, he's the Passover lamb. In Leviticus, he's the high priest. In Numbers, he's the cloud by day and pillars of fire by night. In Deuteronomy, he is the city of our refuge. And in Joshua, he is the scarlet thread out of Rahab's window. In Judge, he is our judge. In Ruth, he is our kinsman redeemer. In 1st and 2nd Samuel, he is our trusted prophet. And in Kings and Chronicles, he is our reigning king. In Astra, he is our faithful scribe. In Nehemiah, he is the rebuilder of everything that is broken. And in Esther, he is the Mordecai sitting faithful at the gate. In Job's, he is our Redeemer, whoever liveth. In Psalms, He is my Shepherd, and I shall not walk. In Proverbs and Ecclesiastes, He is our Wisdom. In the Song of Solomon, He is the beautiful bridegroom. And in Isaiah, He is the Wonderful. Counselor, the mighty God, the everlasting Father, and the Prince of Peace. In Jeremiah, in Lamentation, He is Jesus, who is the weeping prophet. In Ezekiel, He is the wonderful poor peace man. And in Daniel, He is the fourth man in the midst of the fire furnace. In Hosea, He is my love that is forever faithful. And in Joel, He baptizes us with His Holy Spirit. And in Amos, He is our burden bearer. In Obadiah, our Savior. And in Jonah, he is the great foreign missionary that takes the word of God into all the world. You go on and you see in Micah, he is the messenger with a beautiful feet. In Nahum, he is the avenger. In Habakkuk, he is the watchman that is ever praying for revival. In Zephaniah, he is the Lord mighty to save. In Haggai, He is the restorer of our lost heritage. 
and in Zechariah he is the Lord that shall be king over all the earth he is one Lord and his name is one and in Malachi he is the Lord of hosts and the source of abundant blessing in Matthew the word the Christ the son of the living God in Mark he's the miracle worker in Luke he's the son of man. and in John he's the word by which every one of us must enter in Acts there is no other name given among men whereby me must say but by name of Jesus in Romans he is our justifier in first Corinthians our resurrection in second Corinthians our sin bearer in Galatians he redeems us from the law and in the patience he is our unsearchable riches In Philippians, He supplies our every need. And in Colossians, He is the fullness of the Godhead bodily. In 1st and 2nd Thessalonians, He is our soon and coming King. And in 1st and 2nd Timothy, He is the mediator between God and man. In Titus, he is our blessed home. In Philemon, he is a friend that stick closer than a brother. And in Hebrews, he is the blood of everlasting covenant. In James, in James, he is the Lord that heals the sick. And in verses, Peter, he's the chief shepherd. In verse and second and third John, it is Jesus who has the tenderness of love. In Jude, he is the Lord coming with ten thousand saints. And in Revelations, Live up your eyes, church, for your redemption drawing nigh. He is King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Hallelujah. No other name but the name of Jesus.
Christmas.